And uh, Craig joining us now. We've got the holiday week coming up, and we were expecting some rain on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I think we'll still see it, but I don't think the Thanksgiving day is going to be a washout. So that's good because some folks like to fry the turkey outside, and you don't want it raining in that hot grease. Here's what's going on right now. Our Broward camera downtown Fort Lauderdale looking off to the south on a pretty nice South Florida evening. 77 in Miami, 76. Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 75 in Key West. It's taking the scales up there. Uh, six now, quite humid, humidity at 82%. A calm wind and the mostly clear skies and the rain that we saw overnight, a half inch at MIA and two and a half inches coming into Oakland Park. Also, Fort Lauderdale, Lauder Hill picked up about two and a third and over two inches in Coral Springs. The rain that we saw and the light winds and the clear skies means we're going to see some fog overnight. Highs today in the low to mid 80s. We'll see more of this. Temperatures a bit above normal for this time of year, but look at the humidity levels right now. Many areas right at or near 100%. So the atmosphere down here at the surface is saturated. It's very humid, and fog is going to start developing as we go through the night tonight. So give yourself some extra time tomorrow. After the fog burns off, warm sun, just a few showers around, looking very, very nice on Thanksgiving Day, Thursday. Spotty storms develop, but warm and humid to start the day. Then Thursday night and Friday, I think that's the stormiest weather because of a low pressure area that's in the Gulf of Mexico moving over the peninsula. So pretty stormy. Sun possibly later in the day, but uh, Friday I think is our wettest day. And as we go into the weekend, looking good. The first weak cold front comes through that will help push the heavy rain out, just some leftover showers. And on Sunday, looking great, pleasant sun. Cooler Sunday night with another cold front to the north. This one will push on through and give us another brief break from these warm temperatures in the 80s and also these relatively high humidities for this time of year. Across the country, cold air spilling into the Midwest and the upper Midwest. Only 20 right now in Minneapolis, 29 in Chicago, 30s through St. Louis and Kansas City. This cold air is headed to the northeast with the storm system that is going to possibly lead to some travel delays tomorrow. Here's the reason why you can see rain right there, even some snow and some rain coming up from the south. So could be some low visibilities to start the day tomorrow in the northeast if you're traveling. For us tonight, a nice night. Fog develops. Could be thick later on tonight, a low near 71 degrees. Tomorrow after the fog burns off, warm sun, just a few showers popping up. High temperature near 85. For boaters, no problems on the water. Very light winds becoming northeast 5 to 10, 1 to 2 foot seas. A light chop on the bays and taking us through the rest of the week. Looking good tomorrow, Thursday, some storms possible, especially later in the day. Friday, passing storms in the weekend, looking better. CBS 4 News Tonight is coming right back.